Hey everyone, I'm just making this video to address some of the nonsense that Levi Price has been putting out there lately. Um, I hope it's not too windy. I'm outside with my cam and I don't know if I've been able to shield the wind enough, so I apologise if you get a lot of wind um, being picked up in the mic. But anyway, um, Levi. Yes, uh, he's amassed a huge following um, since he's been on YouTube. He's now got like 30,000 subscribers. I hadn't really been keeping a close eye on him, but um, his following has just exploded um, in recent months, and that's a, that's a really bad thing when somebody comes onto YouTube with a false gospel and gets that many people. My main issue is he has absolutely no idea what the gospel is, no idea how someone is saved. He put out a video called... Um, uh, like, uh, when are we born again? Can we really know? And in it he says things like, well, some people think they're born again when they speak in tongues. Some people think they're born again when they're water baptized. Um, it, oh, they may have got born again then, but uh, we don't really know whether they did or not, or maybe they didn't get born again then. Um, you get born again when you believe the gospel, Levi. You know? It's in uh, Ephesians, I think it's 1, 3, um, having believed you, uh, was sealed with the Spirit until the day of redemption. That's paraphrasing. I, I don't have the scriptures in front of me. But, um, yeah. So, you believe the gospel, you get the Holy Spirit, you're born again. It's crystal clear. But Levi has no idea. He doesn't tell people these things. He claims to believe the gospel, but then he's always adding to it. You know, which makes the gospel of no effect. It's believed in vain. And his other practices that really I find detestable. He did a video where he was pretending to, well, well not pretending, <clears throat> well, he was pretending, but uh, his viewers aren't meant to know he was pretending, you know, to burn his hand. He got like a gas light and was like, ugh, and oh, I did a screaming and the screen went black, it was just too graphic to show. And the next scene, his hand is fine. And in the next videos, his hand is fine. So he didn't really uh, burn his hand at all. But he's teaching that, like, Paul tortured himself and bashed himself, you know, to force his body to obey God. Now, this is what demon-possessed people do. They cut themselves and throw themselves into fire. It's not what Christians do. You know, it says in James, where to submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. You know, it's not about torturing yourself to make yourself more holy. I mean, the guy is so mixed up. I don't know why people listen to him. And recently he's attacking somebody who went against him, a guy called Jeremy Carter. You know, he made two nasty videos against him. And I don't know what's going off, so I don't know what's going on off of YouTube regarding that, but I don't think it's very nice what he's doing. Levi is a false teacher. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know how to get saved. He has no idea what the gospel is. He's just telling lies and amassing a following. He tickles your ears, you know, and people say, oh, but he's preaching, repenting of all of your sins and living a holy life. And there's nothing wrong with that, providing that's not added to the gospel. You know, you get saved, then you can do all of that. And you should do all of that. But you can't tell someone who's dead in their sins and lost, well, you've got to totally clean up your life first or God won't accept you. That's his message. And in one of his videos, he even says, um, he's out street preaching, well, lie preaching, uh, telling this woman, oh, I'm getting ready for Jesus, oh, I'm trying to be ready for Jesus. If he's not ready now, he's going to hell. You believe the gospel, then you're ready. It's really sad how he's deceived so many people. It's disgraceful. So beware of this false teacher from hell. God bless.